Here we'll go through pin calibration, applying zero angle offset, and applying zero force offset. The pin calibration will provide accurate angle measurements for your specific pin. It should be done on any new installation or if you move it to a different seat or a different boat. Applying zero angle offset accounts for the magnet bar not being perfectly parallel with the boat. This should also be done on any new installation or move to a different seat or different boat or after any change in rigging or after any change in the oarlock height or if you simply think that the magnet bar may have been shifted. Applying the zero force offset accounts for strain gauge drift due to long-term use and temperature changes. This also should be done on any new installation, but also should be done regularly, as in once a week, or if there's been a pretty dramatic change in temperature. Next, let's see how to do it. We'll start with pin calibration. Pin calibration is important because every pin has a different amount of iron in it, and that variable amount of iron has different effects on our angle measurement. We're able to calibrate out the effects of iron with this simple routine. We'll select pin calibration on the speed coach. Here's where we'll need our pin calibration tool. The tool is installed on the magnet bar on the stern side of the bar, starting with the A and B side up. Be sure to press the tool as far as it will go on the magnet bar. The on-screen instructions indicate to rotate the oarlock to peg A, hold against peg A, and press the enter button to go. When peg A is calibrated, we'll rotate to peg B, hold against peg B, and press the enter button to go. When peg B is calibrated, we'll turn the pin calibration tool over to the C and D side, and then rotate the oarlock to peg C, hold against peg C, and press the enter button to go. When peg C is calibrated, we'll rotate the oarlock to peg D, hold against peg D, press the enter button to go. And finally, we're instructed to remove the calibration tool, and we're going to rotate the oarlock back and forth past 90 degrees. We'll press go to start, we're instructed to do this at approximately two seconds per rotation. Continue rotations until we're told calibration is complete. Calibration is now complete. Next, we'll set the zero angle. We'll do this to account for any offset in our magnet bar. We can do this one of two ways. We can either eyeball our oar lock to be parallel with the boat, or we can again use the level held flush against the back face of the oar lock across the boat to help with alignment. The key is to get the oar lock perfectly parallel with the boat. Once that's done, if there's anything other than zero degrees, we hit enter to go. Next, we'll set the zero force. We'll do this to account for any built-in strains in the oar lock. It's smart to check this maybe once a week to see if any strains have been built up through use. If there's anything other than zero or close to zero, we can simply press the button to apply the zero offset. This should be done without an oar in the oar lock. And that completes calibration.